What we offer here is a, a therapeutic community um, where guys can deal with their homelessness issues and they can um, come to terms for where they are in their life at the moment. And they can stay here for about a year and during that time we hope to get them educated, back to work and into their own apartment um, where they can be self-supporting and, you know, get on with their life, put their life back together. The equine therapy that we're hoping to put in is, uh, is run by a guy who himself is a vet, a combat vet, who suffered from post-traumatic stress and he found his healing through equine therapy and he likes it so much that he became an equine therapist himself. Being in a therapy space with a thousand pound beast, you know, is uh, you have to develop a sense of trust. The main area outside the, the patio at the rear of the building is going to become our vegetable garden and we're going to feed ourselves and nutrition is going to play a, a high um, you know, point in, in our re recovery from homelessness and we're going to use it as therapy and we're going to eat well and then any surplus we get we're going to sell and then we can put the money back into the building to, to supply a better service. The reason we use these therapies is that by the time these guys get to us they've, they've had the, the medical model that's been provided by various services and they've either not been able to engage in it or it hasn't worked out for them in some way and we believe that the therapy that we're offering is the only kind of it's that's going to be offered in Ohio. We've, we've put a lot of thought into this, you know, everything from the way the place has been painted to uh, the furniture that we've bought, which is all, you know, bought in Ohio. Um, we've used local firms um, and we've consulted the, um, you know, AD, <coughs> ADA on everything. You know, you'll notice that some of the light switches are lower than they should be, you know, so people with in a wheelchair can access them. We painted the walls this colour because we didn't want it to look institutionalised. Most buildings are white or beige. We wanted to create a home feel so that it becomes their home, it doesn't become an institution. We're also opening and running a thrift shop. Um, we get donations of lots of clothes and we're going to turn, turn those clothes into money so that we can supply even more services for the guys here because the idea is from the thrift shop is to buy homes and create a veterans village in Akron. It's not a them and us attitude, but we're all in this together. It's a, it's a we community. So everything we're using is probably being used somewhere by somebody, but not everything altogether. Um, and that's a, a totally new approach for us.